Welcome to the Empire by this rampant and welcome back to my Holy Roman Empire campaign for the Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project uh, mod for Medieval 2. We're going to continue lift off from last time where a crusade has started and we're sending my heir over that way because I'm supposed to. I'm uh, going to keep sending him over that way and I'm going to be basically using this as an opportunity to try and get him some more command but also just get some units that are really nice quality. So we'll get uh, be able to add in like these Crusader Foot Knights and the cab they've got as well into my ranks. Um, I'm going to have it so that Let's grab a couple of you guys. I don't know why there's two different ones. Oh, actually, I think it's just experience. Oh, yeah, just experience. So we can grab uh, some of you guys for some more infantry. I'll grab some more uh, probably next turn, probably at this point, because uh, there's a lot of them all over the place around here. Uh, you guys are excommunicated, all right? No, you're not excommunicated, so I can't hit that army without uh, pissing off the Pope. Uh, or Actually, I think it'd make it so we'd disband the... Uh, Crusade, so we'll have to walk past them and ignore them. But maybe this army being nearby will be like, hey, what the hell are you guys doing? And I'll push them away. So, actually, hold off. I need to make sure I have a little bit more money still. Um, one thing I do remember to do right now, though, is I was actually reminded about the fact that technically, uh, this Keeper of the Privy Seal, this is one of the first things that is designating the different offices in our kingdom. And I do need to give these out, and I can't put multiple of them, or I shouldn't have multiple of them on my um on my king because if i do he is then considered an office monger uh even if he only has one <laughs> at the moment so that is a bit, a bit of an issue so we are gonna have it so we give out the keeper of the previous seal and uh once we do that he then should get more of those um offices to give out uh who do i want to give the privy seal to actually you know what? i kind of want to give it to you you have been a very good general for us at this point in time and we've kind of had it now at this point. You're now kind of deciding to take your time. And, and also, you are very loyal, too, uh, to just be a governor. So let's have you come on over here. I'll have you grab the Privy Seal from my faction leader. So give that over to you. That way, you'll have even more loyalty. And then I can go send you back over to Loven. My king goes back into Loven. Hopefully that helps with him being... Yeah, because that makes it more loyalty, more policy, more public security. Um, that should get rid of the um, office monger trait that he has. And I will hope that it will decide to slowly make him a bit nicer. And come on, please. Like, we literally just need one more piety and one more, uh, four more authority. And I could crown this guy. I'm kind of still hoping that maybe we don't get to crown him. Um, I do love the idea that uh, the main reason why um, Gustiano Obano. Uh, married my uh, my one princess here, Yute, uh, Yute um, was to help reform the Roman Empire. And he can see this gold, and he's very much open to try and help out with that. Um, so hopefully you're able to have some kids soon. That's my hope, at least. I know we need to take your time, sit around here, kind of watch over these areas, and not expand too much, because, again, uh, because the Pope died recently, there is... Everybody was reconciled, so the only person I'm at war with... No, actually, literally everybody I'm at war with now has been reconciled. So we have to wait until they're excommunicated again to kind of go on the offensive, which is fine. I know with uh, Norway, uh, they are attacking me right now. We're waiting to see what they're doing with that attack. Um, they should be excommunicated soon. We'll focus on defense there, because that area is pretty upset with us. They don't really like us right now, and so I haven't been able to push out of there. Especially due to the fact that I've had to take a detour with uh, my faction air right now. Because I had to join the crusade. And they did drop away from the city there. Um, 15 provinces have been conquered. Ooh, what's this about? So let's see. So it's been a while since... Uh, it's been a while you're ruling this rule and you've recorded a stream of successes. You've conquered 15 provinces. I'll keep mum on the number of lost provinces, but this is not a high number. Okay. Interesting. I'm glad that it's kind of cool that they brought that up. Uh, Milan is sieged. It's it's sieged currently right now. Uh, we've got a good army around here, so I'm not worried at all about you guys attacking this area. Um, other than that, we're doing okay. Production-wise, I am top right now, which is great. Crusade has grown a little bit more. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, office granter. All the journals are doing from the offices, but only those from each other and mind. And they'll get more, and then he'll get a, an additional boost of loyalty and authority. They also get more likely to acquire good traits. Ooh, uh, usually increasing loyalty in the long run. Well, I gave it to somebody that's already pretty loyal, so that's not going to do too much there. Also, yeah, it does look like I needed to give that one trade out, and now I'm getting more. So now we have the high treasurer. I also need to give out 20% tax income, 20% uh, income from trade, and 20% mining income. That's really nice. 
Uh, it does increase uh, unrest, though. But that is a really nice trait. Um, I think I want to... Let's see, who's governing? Um, I'm going to say... Who's... Let's see. I think you're the current... Uh, yeah. You are the current governor of it. You have the title of it. Technically, this guy is the better... Yeah, because you were the one that was in Colon originally. Um, I should actually... Because, let's see. You have the one right now for Tier, uh, which is currently this guy. So what I'm going to do is let's go up here... Have you trade yours off to him? Because he's the current one that's actually washing over that city. Um, then we can have it so you... I want you to go somewhere else. I want you to go there. Um, I do want to have it so that you want to give this one back over to my king now, though. So let's have you go over here. Give this trait over to my king. You're not going to like that, but... It will be better served with him here. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I should maybe have you go to... Where do I have an area that nobody's washing over right now? Gan's being washed over. Uh, Frankfurt's actually unhappy with him. Uh, oh, it's because you're high tax right now. That's why. Uh, grab that. But then I want to have it so you... I'm going to send you up to Lubeck. You're not that loyal, so I'll send you to an area that's kind of on the border. Um, but now I need to have a soul to move that one trait. I'll give it to Frankfurt, I'd say. I think that's not a bad idea. It's one of my best cities. Make him the high treasurer. Um, let's see. You're such a rampant corruption. Let's try, let's try and put that on you. So try and have you have that trait. Uh, yep, that unrest does hurt quite a bit. But, even, because it was before, like, high tax rate. Uh, now we just reduce it down to low tax rate for now, at least. Um, we'll focus on getting some things in here that help out with public order. Then it'll kind of make up for that whole fact. But that does increase trade and everything else, which I appreciate. So let's do that. And then that's another trade that's given out. You don't have any others right now, right? No, you don't. Okay. Um, your authority is going up. Ooh, we just need your uh, piety to go up too. Because I do have that priest in here to try and make you a more religious man and more pious man. But at the moment, it's not doing anything. Uh, let's see. So Gan just finished some roads over here. Um, I would say for Gand, I do want you guys to get a little bit more public order. How much, uh, there is a bit of corruption down here, so something with law is not a bad idea. We can grab that. A skill, they just got a, uh, a brothel around here. I kind of want you guys to get more troop production around here. But also I need to make sure this area is happier. Um, I do also kind of want to get more trade. How much would that even give you around here? Oh, that's not worth it. And corruption's uh, not going to do much either. Anyway. I would probably say... There's not a lot of good buildings for that. Well, this does give a little bit of law, though, too. Let's actually grab that. Let's grab the barracks here. And then, let's see what else do I have to build. Uh, Genova, you just repaired some stuff around here. I would say for you guys, we also want to focus on more public order buildings around here, too. So, I'll say the council chambers. And then, I think that's it for all of you guys. Now we just need to keep moving my faction uh, air. Uh, I'm going to have you, though. Let's just kill this random little army of rebels. Or just get them to push back. I actually can't want to kill them, because I do need to get you some better command. Your command... Well, that alone is not going to really increase your command all that much. Uh, yeah, it won't really. Yeah, no, we'll, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Yeah. Let's keep making our way over. I actually could use this time, honestly, to take Praha. Because I don't expect to beat them over here. Like, there's a Jihad and a Crusade going on around there right now. Um, so, personally, I kind of want to try and take Braha. <laughs> like, I kind of want this city. Just because. Like, I'm making my way in that direction. They'll tell me if I'm not making enough progress. So, let's try it. Let's just try sieging Praha. Use this time now to take this city. Um, and then next round, grab a couple more of you guys before we're done here. But I I don't really intend to try and make my way over to there all that quickly. I don't expect me to actually win that crusade. I expect somebody else to beat me to it. Alrighty, so here is Norway. They are going to assault us. Balance powers and wise is pretty close. They have no cavalry. I have a tiny bit of cavalry. And they have just infantry here. They have one skirmisher. Bunch of rams. I think we have a pretty good chance here. Um, I can't remember if uh, what the level this city is at. I think this was a... It's not a castle. It is a city. Because I know Roskilde is a castle, which as does have stone walls. Um, this one, however, though, I think at least has the wooden palisade walls that we can stand on top of. Or no, is it not? 
It might actually just be the lower ones. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, it's, it's just this type, because otherwise they'd actually have ladders too. So what we're going to do is I'll have it so my cab. I am going to want to try and harass them as best as I can outside. Like, I want to at least go try and kill their crossbows, if anything. So let's have it so my cab's going to sit over here. Then I've got four units uh, that are the main guys that are going to be holding everybody. So basically you guys right here. And then I've got one archer. Decent amount of ammo. Let's have you guys kind of go back here. Crossbows right about there. And then javelins right about there. I have to adjust everybody afterwards because right now they're not going to listen to me really. So let's get you guys kind of go up to the side. I don't really want to throw you in there. But start the battle. Let's get you guys to kind of go like so. I want to kind of leave a bit of a gap so I have a bit better time to shoot into it. So let's go like right there, right there, and right there. You guys group up and make sure you have guard mode on. Cav kind of running outside. And then I want you guys to cease fire and wait until they blob up for me to throw things at them. They are actually using their crossbowmen to get their la uh, ramp up to the gates right now. Okay, so I want to have it so my cav... Uh, maybe I can actually kill the captain. Captain's a spear unit. But if I go from this angle, I might kill him immediately. So we can try that. And then we can, after he's dead, we can go after the crossbows. Because they're going to that. Okay, I think he's going to... Yeah, he's going to start moving before I'm able to kill him. Because you guys didn't charge exactly where I wanted you to. So pull back. We don't have a lot of cash. So we have to be careful here. Yeah, he's going to be able to run on in. Let's hold off for a bit. They're now going to start running on into us here. Crossbows are already routing. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I can just run down their crossbows then with my cab here as soon as they're out of... Come on, just need to get you away from your allies. There you go. Now run the crossbows down. And then I can have you guys now start trying to shoot. Can I see that one, Spearman? No, I can't see him right now. So just unload into this area here. You should have a pretty nice line of fire into this section. Number-wise, they've already lost a lot. You guys, let's see. So yeah, the crossbowmen, you practically captured that entire unit so far. Honestly, I think if I charge them after I'm done running down their crossbows, I think I might just break them all. Yeah, some of them are already breaking here. Yeah, so Cav, come back this way. Because you got most of that crossbowman. Let's capture these guys, and then I think charging in, and it'll break them all. Because let's do that. So you're at about, like, yeah, 35. Get a little bit more of them. Yeah, let's go try and charge on in here now again. See if it's going to break them. Because they are starting to wa waver. A lot of them are starting to rout. Yep, yeah, nope, as soon as I charge him with the cab, broke them all. Perfect. Uh, I did take a decent amount of damage on my cavalry. I recovered three guys. Oh, that's painful. That's really painful. Uh, you two at least might be able to retrain soon if I send you back. So I'm probably going to be trying to do that. I actually think they are retrainable in uh, Rust Skill Day, but I think Rust Skill Day just needs more time for that unit pool to replenish. That's the hope, at least. Um, but then I can try and retrain that cab, because as long as I have at least one good full stack cab unit, um, we have a pretty good chance here. I will try and ransom, just be trying to be nice. I say he's pissed off now. Uh, I don't think I have anything to throw over there just right now. Well, I might be able to grab some stuff from my skill day to send them over there to make sure that that area is happy. Because I don't have a general around here. Actually, that one guy I was sending up, um, that used to be the governor of Colon, I think I might send him up to Lund. That way I have somebody watching over that city to make sure it's happy. Um, and it will be a bit easier to deal with the public order penalties around there. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So, enemy taking him sack. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Teutonic Order has been founded. Ho, ho. I wonder if that's now going to mean that I can actually do something in regards to um, their uh, order uh, order buildings. Let's see, so use of maritime maps of the Mediterranean factions will have increased range. Nice, That's I like to see that. I do want to have it so at some point I'm probably going to grab some ships as we do try and make my way over to the... Uh... Oh, France is excommunicated once again. Love it. Love to see that. Uh, I do need to make sure to remember. Um... Oh, your son came of age. He has no loyalty whatsoever, but your son came of age. I'm glad for that. Ah, oh, but no, this guy here. Yeah, let's have you be the one that goes up towards the Lund. Because they're already on low taxes. I can recruit a spearman. I can at least do that. You can't recruit anything. Uh, it takes 20 turns for you to be able to retrain that guy. But I can retrain these units around here at some point. Um, inspection. I don't like seeing that. Uh, we had another Welf come of age. William Welf. And then I just need to make sure I keep in mind if I get any more traits that I'm going to have to give out. But did you just... <laughs> they all keep spawning around here. I love it. 
Uh, what we're gonna do, because I, I love the Wealth Wealth family. You guys are really nice. I really appreciate what you've done for my kingdom. You have no loyalty, but you have a lot of chivalry, which I appreciate. Um, I'm gonna say... God, every single one of your characters is a traitorous son of a bitch. It's just because they undermine- yeah, they don't like the usurper. Hmm... You guys are- like, I, I like your family, but you guys do not like my current king. Which is a huge oh, problem. I know over here, um... Oh, did you guys take some of my mercenaries? So well, let's grab the sergeants then. Grab those guys. Uh, again, we're gonna push on in into Praha. We'll take this area here. And then, uh, once we're done with this, we will then continue making our way over. Man, I do not like how your loyalty is. I mean, your command is- your command is really bad. But this is going to be a battle that should hopefully give you a little bit more uh, command here with us winning this. Um, I'll then have one of the wealth uh, siblings uh, make their way over here and try and uh, have them watch over the city. I'm worried that they... I, I love the fact that literally everybody on the wealth wealth family just fucking hates my current faction leader. Just every single one of them is all just just do, does doesn't like the usurper, and I kind of appreciate that that they like all have taken over after their father uh, in that regard, which I kind of appreciate. Um, I will have to try and do something about that. I'm trying to have it so that he has better authority. Although again, I would not mind my current emperor dying, as uh, he doesn't really have the best stats. <laughs> Let's get you guys over here, and then I'll have it so my ladders over on uh, this side. I'll have it so then, um, at least these... No, have, let's have the crossbows. Let's have the crossbows over here. You guys can go along with these guys up on the walls. Looks like at the moment, um, let's see, so... There's some other javelins up here. What they have on this side? We got some of their spearmen and slav levies over here. Honestly, this one unit alone should be able to do a lot of damage to them. Let's try and have you go up to this section. You can try and go over there. I'll try and have it so, um, the Crusader Spears, I'll have you guys walk over to this way. Because if I can get you guys onto the walls, I'm pretty certain that you guys have good enough stats that you will slaughter these units. They're just freely letting me get up to the wall section right here, I appreciate that. I know I am starting to move my ladders up here too, because at the moment, they've got their archers and their javelins there, but I'm trying to go to an area that they don't have their attention focused on. So you guys can get up here, and then this unit, you'll try and rush up after they're on the walls. So that you can go like right there. These guys will be over here. And then you can start going into melee with the javelinmen. You should be able to start winning against those guys. You're now getting up onto the walls. I need you to start trying to attack these spearmen, try and open the gates for us. You guys are doing that. Where, where I want you. Oh, I don't like who those javelins are. Actually, go over here. I don't like how close those javelins are there. They're not shooting anything, but I don't like them. Um, so let's kind of go. We'll go back around. We'll go around this way. Try and go to about here instead. Because you guys need to make your way over here. Go fight the Javelman. Number wise, they lost 2% so far. You guys are off to a good start so far. Yeah, you are doing really good damage over there. These guys are taking some good damage because of all the Javelins and Skirmishers. That's kind of to be expected. Try and get you guys around here as well. I just don't like how much damage these our Hunters have been doing. So my infantry hasn't been doing that bad. Uh, at least over here. But these three units so far have taken out uh, about 20% of the entire enemy army. Uh, looks like you guys might not be able to take this section. Uh, I'm gonna start moving my guys on the ram down here to start trying to, uh, open up the gates over on this side. Because if I can get that open, then I will be able to push on in. My spears are over here, so I can try and get you guys to help on this side, but I don't know if it's gonna really matter. Uh, basically right now I'm just gonna bank on getting the gates open. Over here. Because they've got, like, let's see, they've got their mail knights there. The enemy general is in the city center. If I throw all my cav at him, he is going to die pretty quickly. It just needs you guys to break the gates down for me. Okay, so they're, they're through the gates now. Let's have you and my spearmen start trying to rush on in here to try and kill the general. So my spearmen make your way on in. As soon as we kill the general, we can then start trying to make my way over to help out with the city center. Yeah, no. Rush on in here with all my cav. Spearmen aren't doing that well initially, but with all the reinforcements of my cavalry, God, I have so much cavalry in this goddamn army. Um, you guys will be able to very easily push on into you guys. Let's see, the general's body goes down to nine. As soon as he's dead, that's exactly what I want. My skirmishers. I'm gonna bring you guys back over this way. Here's the enemy general now. 
that all the cav over here? Now the cav unit, okay, there, now it's dead. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get up here, and we try and block them from getting to the city center. So like, you guys go like right there, you guys go like right there, and then I'll have to have you guys guard that position. Uh, my cavalry, uh, is there anybody down on the ground around here? Yeah, there's these javelin men. Let's have like half of you go over this way. Let's try and make my way over here. At least like three of you over there, three of you over here, four of you over here. Because now we want to start trying to hit the guys that are on the grounds and basically try and capture them as they try and make their way back into the city center. Because a lot of these are levees, basic javelins, units that will break pretty nicely once I'm in melee with them. Uh, you guys are trying to win against this one guy, but it's taking a very long time. And then my archers, I'm trying to get you guys into this section. So you guys can go help out with the city center. There we go. You guys have started to block them in on getting to the city center. So now we just need to have it so that my cav loop on around back here, try and hit them before they get to the city center, and then start running them all down. So that some of you are inside the city center, so you'll actually get the morale bonus, but a good chunk of you aren't. So the rest of my cav, try and make your way over there. These guys, that's everybody on this side. Let's get you to run over here, and then these three units need to group up and go to the city center as well. So there's not as many of them over here. It's all of them are pretty much on this side, which my cab is now trying to get in here and help out. Although I feel like this is going to just be a giant melee blob here, since I think some of you are, pretty much almost everybody in view, is technically in the safe center. Let's get my general out of here for right now. He's done enough uh, on the open field battle right now, I'd say, so right now, so we can basically just try and have it so everybody else just munches through this army. Okay, there we go. We've now been able to take Praha for ourselves with my faction air here. Don't mind the fact that I lost way too many of my crusaders. Um, did I heal any of them? Not a couple of them. I healed essentially one unit back, which I'm okay with that. Now we'll have this city now under our control. I will now have to find some sort of garrison to leave here if it is not enough with just uh, the one of the Welf's children um, over here to watch over the city. We'll try and take one of them. I know they don't have as much movement range because of the whole, hey, they hate the usurper kind of bullshit. Um, so you just sack it. Oh, it makes me like 3k. I love that. Let's see the new routes. Sacked. Portrait. I don't like that that increased, but that makes sense. Um, okay, so what we need to do around here first is let's repair everything around here. And then I'm going to take my army, merge everything together. Let's get you guys out of here. Let's go right there. And then I'm going to say... Uh, you... You're the re most recent one. Or can any of you even get to the city? No, none of you guys can actually get to the city. Shit. Um... Because if I leave anybody from here, they're not going to have enough movement. Um... You guys can't, you guys can't. Um, okay, let me do this. Let me put the... Slav Levy in there. He's going to be disbanded next turn. Um, I'll send you up so next turn you'll be able to be up here. Um, it's going to take a couple turns to get that stuff. But I can have you grab some mercenaries if I really want to. This force, at least. Um, let's have you kind of go around this way. Because, again, we need to still try and make our way over towards the crusading target. Let's grab you. And then I need more infantry to replace what we lost. Those two. And then I can just wait until we find more. Because I want more of the actually good infantry yeah. units. I don't want any of these guys, so let's keep making our way over. I keep trying to. Ooh, yeah, there we go. There's some more. Okay, so I keep trying to make your way over that way, and then over in uh, Genova. Uh, I can't get any boats here just yet. Uh, where is my one fleet? Because I want to try and have it so we can do is take you guys. Yeah. Admiral here. Um, maybe send you guys down and around after I grab a couple more, mainly for the return fleet. So let's grab some ships around here. That will be used as my main fleet um, to help return that army. Because I think basically by the time that we're done with the Crusade, if we even get over there, I kind of expect it, because looking at it right now, there's a lot of the um, Jihad forces right around there. Honestly, again, I expect them to be able to do far more than I'll be able to right now. Also, I should probably take the time to, to send out more of the Welf uh, children. Um, I sent the one up north. You guys are sieging Milan right now. Uh, um... I don't see. I don't actually have a lot of areas that need new governors. Well, actually, no, I will soon, because, like, Spare, you are really old. You're 50, so you're pretty old. Um, Basil, got Loven over here, still got one, but he's, his son can take over for him after this. Um, Utrecht's good. I think pretty much every city I have. 
Lubank doesn't technically, Rive doesn't either. So, you know, I'll send some of the uh, wealth children over that way. So, one of you goes to Lubeck. One of you is then going to make your way over towards uh, Rive. And then, I think that's good. Also, you guys will be in closer to the uh, capital and where my king is currently located. So, your loyalty should ideally go up. Okay, Venice is here at Milan. They're going to try and attack us with the captain first. Now, as long as I can get them onto the ladders, the second army should not be able to really do all that much. Yeah, you're one of the newer generals that just joined on in to try and help out. Ooh, you're also part of the Venetian family line. I like that. Okay, well, maybe I'll get to kill you too. We'll have to see. Guys, let's start the battle here. We'll focus on trying to get them off of the um, siege tower and the ram first to get them onto the walls. Uh, this is a stone-walled city, so they shouldn't derp out as much as they usually do sometimes. Um, get them onto the ladders. Then we have a decent amount. Like we have some good. We have a good army here. This is all mercenaries for the most part, but they aren't a bad army here. Um, and I, even though I know my morale or my uh, mal morale might not be the best because of the fact that my general's command is not the greatest, uh, it should be okay. I think simply because for the most part um, we're on the defensive here and. This would be a great... I do love how it is a great way to farm XP um, by trying to have it so that we are able to um, just defend cities. Like, that's what happened with Wealth Wealth. Wealth Wealth was able to get really high command right now because he's been able to defend his city for so long. Um, this might happen around here, too, because I don't intend to expand into these regions just yet. We need to kind of consolidate what we do have right now and wait until Venice is excommunicated once again. Once that happens, then we can decide to try and make our way out to them. So let's see. you guys are all good there. General, let's get them off of the siege tower first. That's the hardest one, to get, the easiest one to get them off first. So let's have them hit that urban spear militia. Then we need to get them off of the ram. There you go. Let's get the charge right there. Pull back, pull back, pull back. That unit's actually breaking. Oh my god. That is way better than I was expecting, honestly. I want to go try and run him down in a second. Let me first try and make sure Our I get them off of the ram first. Looks like they are going to be using the ram. Yeah, pull back. Looks like they've dropped the, uh, the ram. No, they haven't. Ooh. Okay, well, they are actually using these this time. So let's have you make sure you guys are in guard position. General, get back over here. Hit that sergeant militia once, uh, steer, steerman once more. We need you to drop this damn ram. Also, my archers here. You guys should actually cease fire for right now. I need you guys to hold off until they're up on the walls. Back. They dropped the ram this time? I think they did this time. <laughs> These poor bastards! Why did you guys drop it sooner? Um, did that one unit run away or did it come back? I think that spearman came back. Okay, so I think for right now that's good. Yeah, you're not picking the ram back up. Okay, so let me bring my general back around. I'm gonna bring you back inside the city. And then you guys right here are doing really well so far. You're holding them at bay. They are slowly sending their men in to try and get onto the walls. I don't even think I'm going to need to use my archers, honestly. Okay, archers, you got something to do now. Now they've been able to push up onto the walls enough that it matters. And as soon as you guys start loading on them, they Our all broke. Winning the battle. <laughs> really quickly. Like um, that Victory should be about it. Because these forces aren't going to make their way forward. Some of you might try and come back. Let's try and regroup you guys up on top of the ladders. But I think at this point now... It's just trying to see if we can get some more damage on them. So I'll get some of my archers up on the walls here and here. Uh, these guys, I don't think they're close enough that the towers are doing anything. No, they wouldn't. Now it's just waiting until they uh, get in the battle hammer ends. The brave defenders of Milan have held well. Uh, as we are shooting these crazed individuals that don't stop screaming, um, we were able to do a decent amount of damage. It took about a third of their entire army out of the way. Not bad. Uh, I recovered a couple guys. I did take a lot of damage on my infantry. Uh, I definitely need to try and make sure, if we can, try and recruit some more guys around here for infantry, as we took quite a bit of damage there. As they try and attack again, I think we can hold at least one more time against an army of that size, um, but it will be a little bit more of a struggle if they send in anything larger than that right now. Again, try and ransom them again. Trying to be nice. Looks like they're also trying to go for uh, Genova as well. That makes a lot of sense seeing as how that is the one general that uh, betrayed them and decided to come to my side. Still, I'm waiting to see if that character is actually going to have any kids. Uh, honestly, I think we should try and make some space on the family tree since there is a limit based on how many cities we have. Would not be a bad idea. Also, I still need to make sure I try and talk to Hungary. Um, I know I just recently made a new diplomat. Need to go talk to them. Need to try and offer them some money to make sure they're still liking me. As uh, I don't want them to declare war on me. 
I know we just took, uh, it's not Prague now, instead of Praha. Uh, that, oh, it's making me 4K. I love how much money the cities in this mod make. They make so much money, especially when you start getting them really well built up, which is what I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to do with this campaign. So enemy camp has been sacked. We are what are that. Um, admirals, let's see. Just get admirals are essential for Jews at sea. Cars technology makes sense. Group of Andrew should be preferably taking place in some of the naval command or explorers guild. Makes a lot of sense there. Um, there's some other uh, mentioned that some nations with marine heritage are blessed with better admirals on average. Makes sense. Storm clan develops such an interest in German ship, right? Um, let's see. So our whenever said and all done. It's practical experiments. Yeah. So make sure you hit, uh, wins against um, things that are against the greater odds. Makes sense. Um, missing funds, if we are well aware of that. Also, I do need to double check. So you are currently in Frankfurt. Um, I'll send you over... I actually don't remember where any of your cities are, technically. <laughs> I never got map information from them. Um, try to make your way over this oh, way. And then, um, let's see. Nothing there that matters for us, really, there. I want to make sure we don't have any more of the titles we have to give out. It does not look like any more have been given out to me just yet. Nope, not yet. Um, I think I need to get more buildings for those, because they're all tied to certain buildings. Bremen just finished up a church. Let's have Bremen, I would say... I'll get the better farms. The farms are, like, a really easy thing for me to build up, and then they take a while to build, so we don't have to worry. Because, um, I make a decent amount of money, but even still, the cost for some of these buildings is pretty high, and continuously spamming them would be a bit of a, a problem. Uh, you're getting close to growing, so we should make sure we get something with growth, possibly. Let's see. That gives health bonus. That should give some growth. Also, that gives some growth, too. This area also has, like, no law penalties right now. So I think getting that will help out. It'll give us some more trade, and it'll give us some more growth around this area to grow t uh, theater a little bit faster. Um, it gives good. And then Lund is actually fine, as it is right now. Good. So kind of try and grab some retraining there. And then the unrest is 60%. It's getting better. It's getting better. I know I'm about to be saying in general up this way to try and help out. Uh, you are about two turns away. And then I did send some more guys up here to try and help out. Uh, other than that right now. Also, is that your king still? Yeah, the king is still sitting there. But they are not excommunicated anymore at this point. Um, but Venice has been. Okay. So let me see now. Uh, now that Venice has been excommunicated. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I, I have a plan here. Okay, so... Next we will be going for then is probably Verona. Um, I want to kind of hit we you guys you with this army specifically, because I like the idea of let's see. I want to merge some of those guys together. I do want you to recruit some men here. I need some more basic infantry, so let's try and send these guys up. Like recruit those two, send them up. Okay, I wish I would have noticed that sooner because this guy was in the way. You guys could have won against him, but uh, yeah, you try and make your way down here. So we have some more infantry. Um, other than that, right now, I think if I just grab. Let's see, are there any mercenaries around this area? There are some mercenaries, so we can grab some spearmen and some crossbows. Let me grab that and that. I want to take this army out at least because this army right here should be pretty easy to deal with. Honestly, let me grab essentially all of this stuff. Then. Let's push on in here with you, because this is it's balance powers pretty uh, pretty much in my favor. Let's get rid of you guys. I don't weaken their presence around here. Then I'll wait until we can get a couple more reinforcements so that I can start trying to push out and uh, go towards Verona, because we'll go for Verona next. I would love if in this uh, in a little instance of uh, Venice being excommunicated, if I could actually now finish them off and remove them from the campaign map. That'd be great. Let's, see, so let's grab my general and then all my cab, which I only have the two cab units besides my general. I have a lot of skirmishers in this army. A lot of basic mercenary spearmen, and then a lot... Uh, I have an entire army of just primarily crossbows. Let's keep you guys up, like, about there. Start the battle. And are they going to advance on me, or do I need to advance on them? They seemingly are going to advance on me. Thank you for that. Um, or not. Looks like they're kind of trying to go for the hill. Yeah, they're trying to adjust, but some of you guys can shoot them. So I can try and adjust here. I'll get you guys to go right there. All of you guys kind of move on up here. Get a little bit closer. These guys can unload already, so we don't need to adjust you. Move everybody else. Does look like they're trying to go for the high ground. Um, let me go back here. Oh, actually, no, they're turning back around. Never mind. Stay where you are. Let them unload. Let them get in position. The enemy captain is... So you guys need to have guard mode on. Enemy captain seems to be this male knight unit right back here. So slow that down. 
And then let's get you guys kind of go around the back side. Well, actually, how about with this uh, Italian cavalry militia? How about with them? I'll have my uh, hunters be the ones specifically trying to focus on that male knight unit. You guys, they are shaking already. Good chunk of the enemy army is already dead. Now, if you guys, my archers, can take out the general, which uh, I'm a little concerned there, because you guys are flanking. Adjust there and focus on them. Let's make sure you blast that horn, man. Let's get you to kind of pull back a little bit here. Because that area is holding well, but I just want to make sure you're not going to risk yourself too much. Let's go hop at the left side now, because the right side's holding. I think the left side needs some more help. This guy's doing well. I'm going to have you guys try and shoot them, because they're right there, right in front of you. So let's unload into those cross those cab units. Male Knight unit. He's down to 30, guys, so he is slowly dying. Very slowly. General, let's get you guys over here. Oh, actually. No, they're going to try and flank us here. Yeah, make sure you watch over this side. Left side is struggling, but not as much as the right side is where these guys can just walk around. Okay, General's almost dead. He's down to 8, guys. Let's charge him now with my cavalry, and that might break him and the rest of his army here, because they're already down to Shaken. Oh, yep, he's running. He's already been captured. Perfect. So now we just need to run them all down at this point. There we go. So that army is now del uh, deleted, essentially. Um, not a ton of damage. Good amount of experience onto my general here. I like that. I am going to be trying to make sure I utilize you as one of the guys to try and destroy Venice, I would say. It's very poetic. Very, it reminds me of Ladislaw when we uh, had him in my Rome campaign for Zardums. So we'll be doing the same kind of deal with you. I'll have to now have it so we split the forces back up, have them go back to their respective cities. And then we just need to white enforce some reinforcements again. Try and ransom that. Try and make it seem like we're being nice. Let's keep pushing. I shouldn't. I'll have it so then, yeah, yes. you guys Senor. go back into Milan. So you can go back into Milan. Honestly, I could keep kind of trying to push a little bit. Although that right there gave me, got rid of all my calves, so we need to make sure we pull back for right now at least. Um, send two more of those guys back over there. Milan. So, we need to just try and wait some, wait a little bit. Uh, a little bit longer there. I know the this next turn, that'll be some nice reinforcements for us. Uh, you Kaiser. are going to be here in three turns, but that's something at least. You'll be some reinforcements over here. I might want to get rid of this rebel army Come here some Oh, I could actually just honestly kill you off right now. I don't want this tiny little army of nothing around here. So let's quickly kill this off with my general here and what we got in this army. Honestly, you can just do the auto-resolve. Yeah, no, auto-resolve. Take them out. Get rid of those rebels. They'll die. And then come back here and then retrain all these other guys. Welcome back, Captain Galaxio. I see you're going to try and attack Regensburg once again. Let's see how you're able to do this time. I highly doubt you're going to be able to succeed, and we'll be able to hold the city once more. As I love how you guys just don't 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 pay attention to the fact that I have a lot more armies actually just right on your doorstep, ready to kind of push on in and take you out. As I'm pretty sure they only have like two or three cities, I think. And since there's no like, uh, I'm so used to doom stacks being a thing in mods. There's no doom stacks that are going to trigger as soon as everybody dies or you get below a certain threshold. Then I can just blitz you guys and finish you off. Let's get all my R spearmen up on the walls. Get you guys kind of ready to help out because we'll just focus them onto the ladders. Try and do that with my cavalry. So let's get you guys out here. Actually, I can just do it with just you, I'd say, right there. Uh, skirmishers then, you guys need to be nearby um, the area where I'm going to let them onto the walls. And then just unload on them once we're ready. So like right there. Right. Actually, I'll have you guys up on the walls. They kind of spread out there. Don't have. Oh, well, you guys can have fire will on. That's uh, so my uh, hunters and my javelins don't have fire will on initially. Let's just start the battle. Get you guys out here and try and get them off of the ram and the uh, siege tower. Let's go for the siege tower first. So kind of make it run out, guys. Close the gates. There you go. Now go for the siege tower. Once you have that, then we can get them off of the ram. And hopefully they're not idiots this time and they actually utilize the ladders. Uh, I lost a couple of you guys there. Get them off the ram there, please. And I think... Is that good? They drop it? it looks like they did. Okay. Let's get my cab back inside the city then. Because it looks like they are going to drop all that stuff. Yeah, they're going to try and chase you for right now. But hey, they are using the ladders this time. Uh, let's make sure you guys have guard mode on. And then I'll send some more reinforcements up when we need them. Although I kind of feel bad for you guys. You're barely pushing in here with the one ladder spot you have. 
Javelins, you may now unload onto this spot here as we've killed about, let's see, a fourth of their enemy army so far. They have all their men slowly making their way on up about as fast as they can with only a singular ladder. Um, so once we deal with all of you guys then, we should be good. If we don't take too much damage, I'm tempted to walk on out and try and hit their cavalry. Just to make sure we can actually do more damage to them, but I don't think we will. Because you guys are taking quite a bit of damage right now. Okay, you guys held well. Did a good amount of damage to them. Crossbows and uh, archers tried to do as much as you guys were able to. Took out at least half their army here. Uh, the cab did survive. That's fine. But we were able to help repel them once more at Regensburg. I do need to check and see. What is the military standing of Venice right now? Because they are currently excommunicated. And if they only have two cities... Verona and Venice themselves. Like Honestly, it wouldn't be that bad for me to push on in and just finish them off. Like, I know I want to try and do that, but I just am curious. How much do they even have left? Because they've been trying to attack me. They've failed quite uh, considerably time and time again. And I think they only have two cities. Because I know they, I think they are at war with uh, Pisana for a while the now. Because what I could possibly do... This, this would be a bit risky in some regards. I could take the troops I have in Regensburg and send them down south to go help out push into Milan. Just take all those guys, be like, hey, we're going to go on the offensive. For a moment, I thought they were going to attack me there as I saw their army. Um, I did find one of their cities when I was making my uh, crusading army keep moving forward. Again, I am going to try and give them some money. I'm going to probably give them between 5 to 10k as a way to make them to like me a bit more. Because, again, they are allied with me right now, but... Knowing this mod, it's very likely that they could just be like, no, nah, we're not going to keep this. We're going to get rid of you at some point and just decide to do our own thing. Which I wouldn't blame them, honestly. Uh, I am a big-ass target. I am. I have had two civil wars so far. Um, I expect to have another one soon, just because my current king is a fucking jackass and crowned himself before we were ready. I do need to try and... Ch uh, next time I have this one come of age... I'm going to try and not put them into the city that crowns them immediately until I know they have enough authority. I want to wait on that because I wonder if that is the reason why he's the usurper because the same thing. I had my other uh, emperor in that city as well. I think he crowned himself even though I didn't know that was uh, supposed to be a thing they were supposed to try and do there. Eastern Roman Empire? Emperor is dead. Ooh. No more martial law in Milan. Good. Good. I love to see that. That's what we want to see. Uh, no more martial law in Genoa as well. Let me see if I'll say now. We need more banks. We need to have a better banking structure. Um, Purge of Heresy. That's good to see. Um, William Wealth. Dukes of Bohemia. Nice. See, now you're just now the governor of this area. Oh, I love how much money it makes me. Um, let's see. My diplomat here. Do you have you a are at least two turns away from being able to talk to them and give them some money. Um, you guys are with each other. Oh yeah, I forgot that they're on Crusade too. Um, finish some uh, some farms for you and spare. You guys need a little bit more growth. Um, let's see. So what we can do for growth right now? This this is the best building for that. It just gives straight up public or uh, public health bonus. So that'll be the perfect thing to put in spare. Uh, wine. You guys don't have your landowners guards yet. I need to get that because this is a great building. It reduces corruption by quite a bit. Gives you more trade. It does reduce this by 100, but it makes up for it in all the things it's doing. So, is, uh, are there multiple levels to that thing? There are. Ooh, that upkeep's really high. But it really does a lot for the farms. I do really want to get that. Farm estate, human farming. Oh, and it's actually based on the farms, too. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, like, if I go over... Um, let me check Frankfurt. So, if you look at this... Yeah, because you guys need to have the... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, other things that are built up. Let's see, you guys have just built up a church here. I think you guys... It's probably a good idea to maybe get um, the better river port, maybe? There's a little bit of corruption from that. Oh, but not a little. That's a lot. That's a hundred. That's a hundred corruption from the hell no. Uh, let's get some more uh, reduced corruption then. Yeah, it gets rid of 150 corruption. That's definitely worth that. So grab that building there. And then I think that's if we're, what we can build right now. Does look like it. Yeah, because Ribe still can't build anything yet. Lund is still just building up the better farm there. You are one turn away from being able to be the governor of Lund. And then I now need to just double check on my crusade again. Because you guys are making your way over. So we're trying to make our way over. Uh, 
So I want you to go around here, but I don't want to have you go all the way around that way. Try and go this way. Yeah. Because I know there's technically a city there, but you should be able to walk past that stuff. Or if anything at all, I can maybe just grab like a small little boat that will ferry me. But we are about two turns away. It is sieged right now by the Jihad targets. Um, I do want to have it so that basically we're going to try and do. Once my diplomat is done here talking to you guys and giving you money, I'm going to try and continue going over here. And what I want to do is I want to have it so that we'll take the Crusading target. And then, uh, if we are able to get there in time, take the Crusading target and then just sell it off to those guys. Like, just burn the entire city to the ground and then sell it off. Let's see. Uh, yep, again, I know it's just because the movie army is about. Uh, Beauty in the Woods. What's this about? It's like, probably has arrived in Lithuanian court. Oh! Let's see. main pipe of order becomes more difficult as your empire grows. Uh, other blind lines into yours so that any gift of that is worth. Exchange for history. Wow. It's kind of funny how that's similar to what we just did with Venice, where we instead just forcibly stole some money and said, um, religion and culture. Let's see, so religion and tolerance and, uh, was not unheard of in the medieval areas. Uh, certainly not as the norm. Let's see. Settlements. There are three ways to increase the hold of your religion construction of your religious building, having a government with high piety, and sending a priest to minister in the province. That, I didn't notice that was the thing before. Having a government with high piety, I didn't know that actually helped too. Uh, this building provides a strong boost while well, your religion is weak, but they uh, have a true impact. Of course, your own religion there are, the smaller the impact of the temples will be. Let's see. So, note that the conversion rate in ship is meant to be slow, as it was in history. Finally, the characters from different religions may acquire different traits. Yep. In addition to diversity, there's also different cultures. Okay, so the difference is not have the inverse impact. Okay. Um, no martial law in Arles. That's good that that's it now again. And in Rust Guild Perfect. And then missing funds again. I know we should get some more uh, banks at some point. Uh, trade routes. Yes, I know. We'll pay the ransom, essentially. Um, let's see, new family. Oh, family tragedy. Oh, no, shit. Um, easy to then. Again, no titles I have to give out right now. That's good. And then you guys are now just getting traits around here. Oh, I do kind of like that. They're unique to the areas, too, actually. It's not just generic, hey, you're a better governor of this uh, of this area. No, like, um, he's now the governor of Brandenburg, so he has more dread. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then the other one was, um, no, Luba goes right. So you have the R of Hot One, increase from trade, and command one defending settlement. Oh, that's cool. I really like that. I wasn't paying attention enough before to realize that, oh, there's a slight difference in all of the governors. Yeah! Oh, that's cool. I like that. Like, what's the one in uh, Prague? In here is just... So... It's a very good uh, Mines and income for war. So, income for trade, mining, and then a little bit of dread. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Diplomat. Uh, you still can't talk. Oh, wait, who are you? That's actually a Hungarian minister. Okay, perfect. That's who I need to talk to. So when you talk to you guys, I'm going to say, Hello, my good friends. I must offer you some money to make sure you still like me. So let's uh, give you guys... Um, let's just offer 10000 It's been a while. I want to make sure you guys like me a lot. So let's just give you a, a pretty sizable gift. Uh, that did nothing for my relations. Awesome. That's great. Uh, it might be that I have to do that a couple times. You guys just finish your thing over here in Prague. Let's have you guys then get, um, let's see, do you have, you have like no corruption right now, so we can get the market around here. Um, you have the better council buildings around here. Uh, you do already have a port. Okay, so let's have it so that you guys grab, ah, honestly, just, just more public health. That's always a great thing. Milan, probably this, oh, for Milan, you get better roads. We don't have a lot of tr uh, trade around here just yet, so let's hold off on that. Let's instead get you this, because that, I think, is going to yeah, just keep making up for itself. About 70 there. And eh, not a ton there. Eh, it kind of makes up for the loss, because this is, yeah, about 70-ish. It, it'll, it'll be better once the trade starts back up in this area a bit more. Um, you guys do need to lower the taxes, though, so they're a bit happier. I am recruiting a couple guys around here now to give you some more men around here. Oh, Verona. Oh, hello, Verona. That's exactly what I want. The question is, do I have enough movement to hit that army? I do! I fucking do! That's awesome, okay. Um, let's see, let's leave behind you and you. Let's keep moving on up here. They're a little upset if I lower the taxes. They need a little bit more. And there's somebody in my way. Can you not? Please, just not get in my way. 
because I want them to take all of you guys into this army. So then we got a full stack, essentially. Uh, you guys... I know, like, I'm trying to have you... Well, let me do, like, do this. Hello! Get the fuck out of here! Get out of my way, so that I can actually bring those guys over. Because you make your way over to Milan, and then I'll have it so that... Uh... I will just have to give over some units at some point, but I want to try and at least say fight this on Oh, he's gonna run. Got enough movement still? No, I don't, because you've got in my way. Honestly, I might have to kill those guys first. Because if I kill those guys, then I think I should have enough movement. Although, first, let me actually make sure to move all my ships here. Because you guys. Oh my god, did I see. I hate this so much that I can't do this, so. Uh, let me see. Which one's the best one? They all suck. Awesome. Okay, well... Uh, let's just do this. Because these other boats, I guess... Should I leave them around here? I wanted to put you all into the same fleet, but I can't. Of course I can't. Because you're individual, unique admirals, so I cannot do that. Okay, well, uh, what we'll do instead, though, is I'll have it so you guys, I think, are enough. That's at least something. Start making your way down around here, because you'll need to go grab my um, my faction air. I'm just going to disband these ships, because they're just a waste of money at this point right now. So you can do that, and then let's go check on him, because I'm probably going to have it so we'll have the next video. I'm going to try and fight you, because I think if I kill you and you... I should then have enough movement to go hit this guy and Dokus take her own. I think. Come face me. I also will have it so let's do this. Well, let's just try one. First. Uh, is that 70%? Yeah. So what I can do is just. There we go. That's enough. So then we can basically have it sort of grab. Oh, you do have enough money? Oh, no, because they cost 1800 gold. Oh, shit. Well, that's enough still, I think. Like, you guys, you're ready for that fight. But then I can go check on my faction air. Who's still trying to make his way over here. Looks like they were repelled once there. Again, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it there in time. But hey, if we can, I'll try. Might as well. Might be able to get some decent money out of that. But, I do think... Yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty good place to be done for today. Because right now, we've been able to consolidate a little bit more. I now, with us now controlling Prague, that is uh, quite a bit more money for us. Um, before I'm done, though, I do want to check on how Venice is doing. Militarily-wise, I have over double their military. Their military is not doing the best. Production, uh... <laughs> I'm all over the place there. Um, territorially... So they're at four regions right now, actually. So they have, at the moment, I know about Verona. I know about, um, uh, Venice itself. I don't know of anywhere else they might control land right now, specifically. Because it doesn't look like they took anything from... So I'm not really sure where they are, but we can deal with that in the next video. But I'm going to be done for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general. This is Rampan. I'll see you guys next time.